going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome. And if you're new to the channel, I review drones. I'm gonna tell you the good and the bad about them. And this is an all-in-one FPV kit built for a beginner. I'm gonna tell you the pros, I'm gonna tell you the cons. I think this has a lot going on for it, but there are some things you absolutely need to know before you buy this. Stay tuned. So first, let me just say, if you already fly FPV, this is not for you. This, this is a kit for a beginner. This is an inexpensive kit, just over $100. I think it's $110, but uh, I've got a coupon code for eight bucks. You get an FPV monitor and you get a remote plus, a couple of batteries, which is nice, and a whole extra canopy. Um, and I'll tell you why I think that's important in a second. But uh, yeah, everything you need to fly, the charger, some extra props, stuff like that. This is everything you need if you want to get into FPV. And most kits are gonna be more expensive than that. I've done a bunch of Emacs kits and I love their stuff. They're more expensive for good reason. So let me just talk about this one and what we have here and what I like about it. Then I'll tell you the things that you need to think about before you buy it. So for starters, this is a small ducted drone. It has brushed motors. Now brushed motors are a little bit less expensive. Um, they don't last as long, but these are plugged, right? So if something ever happened to one, they're pretty easy to replace. This canopy pops off. You can see in there, everything is just plug in play. So you can swap them out pretty easy. So sure, I would have preferred brushless motors, but that's gonna keep the cost down, which is what we have here. Now this has an upgraded flight controller, and I don't know anything about the original, but I can tell you that this one is different in that it has altitude hold, meaning uh, one of the hardest things for beginners is managing the throttle. So you don't really have to, it kind of stays and hovers in one spot. So you can kind of almost fly this with just one stick. That's good for a beginner because it makes life a whole lot easier easier. This thing has three speeds, low, medium, and high. If you're flying outside in any kind of wind, you're probably going to have to put it in at least medium, if not high. I flew this thing outside. It's not going to do great in wind, uh, but to give yourself a chance, fly it in high mode. That's this button right here on the remote. Press that on the shoulder, one beep low, two beeps medium, three beeps high. Uh, this button here, you push this and then you move the stick up or down, left or right, and it's gonna do a flip. That's kind of cool. Now this is an FPV drone, meaning first person view. So this little camera on the front of the drone here, when you plug this in and you turn on the screen, you see what the drone sees. So you're flying from that perspective. You can see it uh, changing on that tiny little screen there. And this is a tiny little screen, but it's actually really nice. Now there's no DVR, but you can change what channel and band you're in and it tells you right up here in the corner. Uh, also, I'll show you how to do that on the drone. Uh, there are little controls and things. It comes off, this is just like a little uh, clip here. This is an analog FPV setup, so no, it won't work with DJI. No, you can't use your phone. You have to have an analog setup. Now, I also flew it with my analog goggles. These are my SkyZone. 030s and I did that basically because I prefer the goggle view and uh, I was able to record some footage for you. Megafire actually does have some different kits. I think you get Ishin uh, 800Ds uh, in this package for like 140 and then they have some Sky Zones that get a little bit more expensive. Now if you're thinking about goggles, you, I, I wouldn't suggest getting the more expensive. Either one, the Ishin, which is a bigger box goggle, uh, I would prefer that to uh, this tiny little screen, but this screen is nice, especially you know if you wear glasses or maybe a claustrophobic. If you've never done FPV before, this is a good way to kind of experience it. You can get pretty close to this, and then you can kind of see what's going on. So overall, this is nice, and this is probably the best part of this whole kit. Yes, this is compatible moving forward. The screen is. The remote, not so much. I don't know if you focus in here and you can see that I'm on channel A1, uh, but also you can see what channel you're on here uh, by kind of looking at the different uh, lights on the back, right? And then this button on top 
cycles you through. So uh, this first button on the top, that's the channel um, that you're on. I'm on channel one, and then the bottom one is band. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then A, B, and so on. It's incredibly stable for a drone this small. You can fly it inside, you can fly it outside. This is a great thing for kids, for beginners, for people learning uh, the hobby. That's what this is for. Now, is it the most robust? No. Are there better options? Yes. Are there better options at this price point? I don't think so. Uh, you know, and I'm not the only one that kind of wrestled with this, right? I, I just saw that Stu from UAV Futures had one of these, and he ended up really liking it. His kids really liked it, but it has its drawbacks, right? And that comes from someone that's flown FPV before. All right, so I'm going to get into the things that I'm not super fond of. And actually, one of them is this uh, adjustable angle. Now, generally, I give drones kudos for having an adjustable angle, right? Because, you know, that kind of dictates how fast you fly. But pretty much any time I'd crash, this thing would end up like this or at some angle that I wasn't flying. It just, I mean, it just moves too easily, right? So what I would actually do if you buy this kit is, um, you know, throw some hot glue or some welder glue or E6000 glue and glue that canopy in place at, a, at an angle that you find is, is best for you. Then you don't have to worry about it. And then if you, you know, decide you want a different angle, you got two of these canopies. So that's cool. Uh, these batteries, they're fine. These are 300 milliamp hour pH 2.0 1S batteries. They're cheap, you can get a bunch of them. Uh, I tried some different styles. These worked, uh, these stick batteries, but mm, I, I wouldn't suggest this. You know, this isn't the latest technology for sure, but whatever, these batteries are cheap. You can get, a, get them pretty easily and uh, readily on Amazon. But they're not gonna last you long. We're talking like three minutes. I'm also not a fan of this remote. It's cheap, it's small. And here's the thing, uh, this runs on some protocol. And if we could find out what protocol it runs on, you could use a Radio Master or a Jumper Multi-Protocol Radio to fly it. And I've done that with some similar drones in the past. And it just really adds to the user experience. So if that's something you think make or fire should release, let me know. I asked them to tell me what it was like, oh, it's private. So if, if enough people say, yes, we want to know what protocol this thing flies, I think they'll tell us. And that actually will add some functionality and some usability uh, to this drone, right? That makes this drone better because then we can fly with a real radio. It just, there's dead band in these. Uh, it just, it's so small, right? You have to be a little kid almost uh, to use this tiny little remote. So I don't understand why they don't want to tell us what it is, but uh, they don't. Should they? Let, let me know in the comments below if you think that they should tell us what protocol it is and maybe we can make that happen. I mean, flying this thing around, lots of fun. I fly lots of drones, and FPV is my favorite. It's my favorite thing. Uh, this drone, not going to be my go-to FPV drone, but I'm going to give it away to my nephew. I had an altitude hold FPV drone that I gave to one of my other nephews, and he got jealous, so he's going to get this one because it's just so much easier for them to be able to learn how to fly with altitude hold and then they can graduate on to bigger and better things. So uh, yeah, this is a great gift for a kid. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving it to a kid. And if you're thinking about getting a kid a gift, do it. Um, as far as I know, the tariffs, uh, they're getting by. Uh, this got to me, probably should be able to get to you. If you found this helpful, if you're into drones or technology, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you back. Uh, learn some more things with us uh, and let us show you some of the fun that we're having here. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.